I got her all the good music there was in the world, yes, sir. I bought her a Victor Vic Crowley. Say, Mom and me decided that if we wanted to be right in style, we'd better get one of these here Hail Columbia Happy Land talking machines. Well, hi, everybody. About a month ago, I was fortunate enough to purchase this Edison Concert phonograph from 1899. This was from the original family. And uh, I'd like to show you a few interesting things about it. First of all, uh, this one has been converted to play standard cylinders. Edison concert cylinders were deleted or ceased production at the Edison factory uh, in 1909, I believe. So sometime after that time, the original family opted to uh, convert it to play standard cylinders and it has this one has the two and four minute gearing in it which is nice and this is a really early uh, concert hence the uh, Edison spring motor for phonograph plate and the uh, the other plate here on the casting and Another interesting aspect about this particular converted Edison concert is it has a rare large carriage on it. So most, most times when you see an Edison concert phonograph that's been converted to play standard size cylinders, they have the, uh, the small hole uh, for the reproducer and this one has the large hole to accommodate a model or reproducer which is what was on it when I bought it. Also the original family opted for the signet horn so you see there's a signet bracket there and the crane and the horn this is an original horn. Nice original paint too. All I did was wipe it up. Also of interest on this one is it has the badged crank which is very early and uh, very desirable. And inside the drawer there are a few goodies that I'd like to show you. Here you see the, uh, this was used, that's, that's a device to move the two and four minute pulley in and out. And here's a reducer ring, so you could put this reducer ring in the carriage hole and you could use a Model H or a Model C or Model K reproducer if you wanted to. Also you can see, <clears throat> excuse me an angle uh, adapter for a front mount re uh, horn. There's two of them in there. And way down in the bottom you can see the, the uh, original belt that I replaced. And probably the most important aspect of this is the serial number which I was stunned when I saw it. And of course I don't have my flashlight but I don't know if you can see it's number 57. Extremely early. Probably in the certainly in the first week of production was this Edison concert made. Most of your Edison concert phonographs have a capital C in the serial number followed by the actual serial number. This one 
it certainly predates that. They just stamped 57 in it. If it's that early. If anyone has an earlier Edison concert <clears throat> phonograph with a lower serial number, I'd appreciate that. Because I this is the lowest one I've ever seen. Okay, so when we come back, I'm going to play a cylinder for you. Okay? See you in a few. I'd like to play for you one of the more difficult to find Edison two-minute wax cylinders in my collection. And this one has the original stamped uh, number on it. This is Edison catalog number 3841. And it's a monologue. Schultz goes hunting with, sorry, you can't see that, with Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland was our 22nd and our 24th U.S. President, the only U.S. President to serve two non-consecutive uh, terms of office. And uh, he was an avid hunter and fisherman. And so the box, interestingly, has uh, the original dealer sticker on it, upside down, Rawling Sporting Goods Company, phonographs, records, uh, cameras, Kodaks, uh, Carbondale, Pennsylvania, Main Street. So why they put it upside down, I don't know. But anyway, I hope that you'll enjoy this uh, comic monologue played on my uh, Edison concert phonograph here. Okay? See you in a few. Okay, so here we go with Schultz Goes Hunting with Grover Cleveland by Frank Kennedy. about me and Grover Cleveland? You seem surprised when I say me and Grover. I want you to understand I'm seldom seen with him. But last week he says, Schultz, let's go out hunting. We started out and I had a pint bottle in my inside pocket and every time we shot anything we took a drink. Every time we missed anything we took two drinks. Well, after missing several shots we commenced to feel kind of tired and Grover says, let's take a sleep. So we both lay down on the trunk of a tree by the side of a mud puddle in the center of the middle of the woods. The minute we lay down, we fell asleep, and I started a dream. I dreamt I went up to heaven. Oh, it's only a dream. I thought I knocked on the golden gates, and Saul Peter came to the door. He says, what do you want? I says, I want to come in. He says, where did you come from? I says, from New York. He says, come in quick. You're the first one from the town. This is a dream, you know. I thought he showed me all around, and he finally took me into a large room where there was millions of small lamps, each lamp burning brightly. I says, what is the meaning of those lamps? He says, each lamp represents a life on earth. When the lamp goes out, that man dies. Well, I come in to get scared. I says, where is my lamp? He showed me my lamp flickering, put in near hour. I says, where is Teddy Roosevelt's lamp? And right next to mine was Teddy's lamp. It had a flame 50 foot high. He'll never die. Just then Saul Peter went out of the room and an idea struck me. I says, Roosevelt is an old friend of mine. He won't care if I take some of his oil and live longer. I went to pick up Teddy's lamp to pour it into mine and what do you think? Every lamp was nailed to the floor. There I was in a turbo pick I didn't have over an inch of oil to live. Another idea struck me. I unscrewed the top of my lamp and the top of Teddy's lamp. I dipped my finger in the oil in Teddy's lamp and squeezed it off into mine. Kept this up for about ten minutes. All of a sudden, I got a slap in the face, and I woke up, and what do you suppose I was doing? I was sticking my finger in the mud puddle and squeezing it off into Cleveland's ear. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> 